Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Get You Some Radio Show. Terry Lancaster here, and we're not doing it live, but this is a special edition of the Get You Some Radio Show without all the bells and whistles and, and, and the doodads and all, but I'm still in the studio, and you can still subscribe by texting Terry to 33777. I'm talking with Sherry Hoffman from Zumbroda, Zumbroda Ford Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in, in uh, Zumbroda, Minnesota. Sherry, how you doing? Doing wonderful, Terry. How are you today? Uh, oh, yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good. You, you've always got a smile on your face. How, how are you? How's everyone at the store? How's your mom and them? Is everybody safe and sound? Everyone's safe and sound, Terry. You know, when we're all at the store, we're all working, we're all happy and, and making light of the entire situation. Hey, so that's, that's one of the things I want to talk to you about. You guys, I, I love you guys. I, I love everybody at the store, starting with, starting with Steve and, and, and yourself and everybody. You've, all, you've, all, you've got such great camaraderie and spirits. How are you guys keeping that up in, in, in the midst of all this? You know, first of all, it helps that we have a good team where our store is always fun. We try to make levity and, and every day, you know, and uh, of course, you've seen some of our video posts on that. So, I mean, we just have fun doing it. We love our customers, and that's just a part of the corporate culture that we have. Yeah. So talking about your customers, how, how are your customers doing? What, what, you, still got, you guys are still selling cars. you got customers coming in the door. What is it that's driving a customer in the door, in today, in the door today in the midst of all this? Why, why are they coming in now instead of, uh, instead of putting it off till all this is over? Well, let's put it this way. They haven't stopped. You know, the, the thing is, we have such a wonderful, loyal customer base to begin with. But once, once again, we, they know that we're here for them. We've made it very aware that we're open for business. We have not stopped. You know, we've taken the necessary precautions, recommended, you know, social distancing, which is a term that, gosh, I never thought I'd be talking about <laughs> in today's age. Um, you know, sanitation, you know, we've got plenty. We had it stocked up already. We, you know, we're not running out anytime soon, but because you can't find it right now. But more importantly, it's our, it's our attitude, you know, calling our customer, being willing to meet them where they want to be met at. For example, I just had a customer today. He lives not too far from us. He said, I don't want to come in. I said, great, let's do the application. We all had already these processes in place. Let's get everything done virtually. And let me deliver the car to you for your VIP test drive. You know, we'd already been doing these things. Yeah. So it's just a matter of just making the public aware that this is, that you can keep moving on. Yeah, you did the great little video with everyone sweeping and cleaning. I saw 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 that one the the other day. And you are are you are how much how much of, how much of the transaction now are you able to get done without the customer ever setting foot in, in in the store? The whole the whole shebang. You can really do the whole shebang because the paperwork is also transportable. You know, yeah. when you when you have the signatures and everything, of course, we've got our gloves and and masks if we need. And it runs again. It's really at the customer's preference, being able to meet them with where they're at. You know, that's just good business overall, right? It really is. And, and, and that's what's so amazing about all of this. Uh, this, is, this is all stuff that everyone could have been doing all along and the customers probably would have liked all along. I, if I can sign a mortgage for my house sitting at my kitchen table, why can't I buy a, a $25,000 car sitting at my, at my kitchen table? So um, I, I, I think what you guys are doing is, is on the forefront. Uh, and, and, it's, and I think, uh, I think it may, may end up being the new normal when, when we come out of this. So how do you like it? <laughs> You know, and it, exactly, customers do like it, and, and it, it allows us to really personally interact in a different way. You're interacting in the customer's element. And, yeah. you know, it really all starts with us reaching out to the customer and, and letting them know that we're still open for business. We're, we are pretending like it's our slow season right now. So we're making all the phone calls, we're calling all the people, and letting them know the special incentives. And truly, this is the best time to buy. If you were playing it like if you're in the market, for example, consider your investments and things like that. This would be a great time to get into that vehicle because of all the, the special financing, the, the afford offering to pay for the first three months and then delay the next three months, different banks that are willing to delay the first payment up to 120 days. Why wouldn't you take advantage of that? This is, you know, particularly with people, even with special financing situations. You know, this is an opportunity to take advantage of it in the market, not to shy away from it. And that's why we're so bold and we're out there about that. We got to let people know. So what else are you doing to let people know? I know you're making the phone calls. I know, I know the, the stores, the stores posting videos on Facebook. You're, you're posting videos on Facebook. I see you every morning, your bright and smiling face. So, so I know you're doing that. What, what all are you guys doing? What is everyone at the store doing to keep, uh, to keep the train rolling in? Well, we as a store have really, really taken a step out into the community. We've always been a community partner, but more importantly, we've joined the local chamber of commerce. We're video networking. I never thought I'd be doing that where I'd be sitting on in a forum of hundreds of businesses now. 
and really talking about how things are going, what we can do to help each other business-wise even, because truly business drives the economy and you have to be open for business in order for economics to, to keep moving forward. People need us. And so for us to connect and for us to be out in the community and networking, that's really been key as well. Yeah. All right. So when you when you when you when you're not at the store and, and your home is uh, what 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 are you doing to keep uh, keep yourself sane in the, in the midst of uh, the craziness we got going on? You know what? I really believe in reaching out and being connected. They're the one of the worst things that we can do is live in a world of isolation. We're not meant to be that way. And so really connecting and because of the technology, it allows us to connect. Now, I'm a gamer. Oh, is that right? <laughs> one thing not many people know about. My granny is she plays on Xbox and that's, yeah. you know, and that's a great way for it to be connect for me to connect and I connect with my family my kids that way too yeah. and so that's something that I do personally that's a little bit different yeah well good on you thank you for taking time to chat thank you for taking care of your people and 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 thank you for uh, for doing all that you're doing to keep everybody safe and uh, safe and rolling uh, if there's anything I can do for you let me know just keep watching Terry we appreciate you all right, all right Sherry thanks everybody thanks everybody for watching we'll see you next time take care